gonna watch a master craftsman at work. He's gonna shoe up some horses today. This is Keston. Hello. <laughs> so we're just gonna watch ya. Cool. If you wanna. I have you guys doing this by the end. <laughs> if you wanna say anything, feel free. <laughs> catch them up here. All we need is horses. So do you do this full time? Mm -hmm. I guess in this area there's a need for it to be full time, huh? Yeah, there's, everybody's got a horse out here. We go, uh, my wife's family, she, they live down in Sonoma County. We go down there for a while. And we go to shoeing contests on our days off. Hmm. Measuring for shoe size? Yeah, yep. <laughs> so I got 13 inches. Got 11 and a half. How to do it. Okay, that was concave, and what is that for? Basically, it's just a section of steel that this is 3 8 3 quarter that uh, it's already got the fullering in it with a groove through the middle. Mm hmm. So, so you're making a shoe from scratch? Or from concave, so I mean, they're like a, we make a lot of shoes out of flat bar too, but day to day stuff, it's just I'm a lot more efficient, it seems, at this. Oh, okay. it's already got the fuller in it, so you save a lot of work not having to fuller it and just cut and fit your shoe, build your shoe, hmm. and punch nails.
stinky. Yeah, the hot shoe, it doesn't hurt them at all. It's, uh, makes it easier for the horseshoe, you know? Yep. I can burn the blemishes out. The idea is that it creates a perfect union between the shoe and the foot. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay, let's take it here. 